effective, and uh, I'm happy for him. I, I, you know, there was a point in time I was I wasn't sure where it was going to go with him in the National Hockey League, and uh, but uh, it, it's funny if if the mind plays tricks on you, and I think he's just relaxed himself and has that attitude. I'm just going to go play. I'm not going to worry about anything, and I think it's really helped him. That's kind of helped bring out some skill. I mean, like he's, it was there before, right? Well, it was, it was, you know, yeah, and and you know, he gets upset with me when I, I said I want to see that because it's, it's, he's played really well in the American Hockey League when he was down there, and uh, I think that was a point of contention when he was tired of hearing me say that to him, and he probably has a right to say that uh, uh, because I said I, I need to see this, I, you know, I need to see it, and and I do. I, th I just think he has an attitude. I'm just, I'm tired of listening to you. I'm just going to show you and. Uh, uh, and you get that, I don't want to use the words I have in my mind, uh, uh, but they get that type of attitude and I think they get out of their own way. And that's really important for a player like him. Sure. A, year, a year ago you moved Pierre-Luc up to the top line. How have you seen him evolve in that spot as a young player considering he had a responsibility? Yeah, we were, we were worried about uh, putting him there so quickly at the center ice position. Um, we, we did it with necessity because we just had some struggles with our center ice position. And uh, quite honestly, he made the coaches look like uh, fools uh, overthinking that because he, um, he took the responsibility, thrived in it, uh, and keeps growing as a player. His, uh, uh, his ability to pick up things and, and uh, not feel the added pressure as a young guy and get nervous about it. It, it, he's he's uncanny that way. He, he accepts it and he wants more. So it's a really it's a really good thing for us right now uh, with Luke, and uh, I can see it even getting better as we keep on pushing forward. Just one more on the building. Did this evoke any memories for you just walking back in here today? Well, the building's changed. Yeah. Because uh, I when we walked in, we walked through the building. I haven't really. I, I, you can't tell until you get out there playing the game. Yeah. But man, I was with the Rangers for five or six years, and we had some. I mean, the things that were going on in the stands were, it was better than the game sometimes. <laughs> and uh, seriously, it was just, and, and, and when other teams come in here, they, they, they don't experience that. That Ranger Islander, that, that game, uh, no matter what building, MSG are here, they were a blast to play in. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so sure, I, 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 that's when hockey was hockey. It was, uh, that was, I mean, it's, Stuff going on in the stands, it was just incredible. And that passion of fans here. Uh, hard cities, uh, both New York and here, if you're not playing well, but they're behind you. They're, 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 they're emotional about their team. So uh, I'm really thrilled that we're getting the opportunity to play the first one back in this building. John, I know it's a cliche, but do you have to weather the storm early, knowing how crazy this place is going to be tonight? No, I want, it, it's not so much weathering the storm. I want us to jump in. Uh, I, I, I don't want us to. to, to uh, test the water, and uh, I want us to get on the attack right away. And uh, uh, I want I want to use the juice of the building to our benefit. Uh, sometimes, guys, it, it it it's it's harder for the home team to play in these situations. When you're a away team, you're just letting it happen out there, and you use that juice for yourself. Uh, so we'll see where it goes.